completely amazing. Um, Mind-blowing. How about indescribable? The fullest, most... Um, this was by far the best year of my life. Crazy year of just learning at all times and experiencing things that I had never thought I would experience before. It, like, it was transformational for me. I mean, I, I, for me, it was like a year of a lot of growth. So many ups and downs. You can love it and hate it. You can think it's like your home country and like a completely different planet at the same time. It was so successful that I just can't even believe it. I'm sitting here now, I've just returned, and I'm amazed of the things that I've done that year, of how full it has of the places I went. My host family really helped me learn to not only like, you know, love the place I am, but find love in the people I'm with. You have to relearn a whole lot of things. You have to relearn how you socialize with people. You have to relearn how you can talk with people. You have to relearn all these things, how to do certain things, that you really feel like you've accomplished something because it's just an amazing feeling. When we don't really think about the outside world, I mean, like, we know, like, there's other countries out there, obviously, and there's things happening, but it doesn't really affect us. The way I felt about Muslim countries and Islam um, were perceptions that I got from movies and books that you read. I learned so many things about religion and culture that that's the thing I learned about the most, and that's the thing I'm going to bring back to the U.S. the most and share. You really get to know the people and the culture behind the history. If it weren't for the, like, the religion, I don't think I would have shared as much of my culture with everyone as I did. Even the kids in Indonesia were saying, you know, oh, Americans, they hate all Muslims, right? And I'm like, no, you see me here, you know? We're like friends, we go out to the mall, I don't hate you because of your religion, you know? What this program does and what people ought to do is to look for the similarities that link all people and all cultures and all religions. I'm a lot louder than I used to be. I think I've become a lot more independent. From living in Jakarta, I'm actually a lot more patient because they have like the worst traffic in the world. I like to think that I'm matured, but some of my fellow exchange students would probably say otherwise. No matter where I am, like now I feel like I can learn how to love the place, not only because of like physical beauty, but because of the culture and the people. Now I really want to learn more about other countries. I want to go abroad again in college. And I can do anything, and I honestly think that now, like now, I can, I've seen my limits, and I see that I can get past, like I can push past those limits now. The things I've learned, it's, it's I can't imagine my life without the support exchange. We're the coming generation that is going to shape our country. And right now I'm seeing in my high school that a lot of students don't know about the world around us. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about America and just the purpose of the YES program is to foster an improved relationship between the U.S. and Muslim countries. I really liked to be asked about America so I could say, yeah, you know, we're not, you know, whatever. Some people thought we were like evil. <laughs> no, we're not like that. I just think it's important that we have that kind of perspective that goes beyond our newspapers. It's life-changing. It gives you a lot of room to grow. <laughs> I'll be using this experience for the rest of my life. I've gone to another country where I didn't know the culture, I didn't know the language, and I didn't know a single person. And now, I left there this morning, and I have teachers, I have friends, I have a family. I learned a new language, I act differently, I make new foods, I sing new songs. I'm on a journey for life and I'm really making my steps to change the world, to, to make those changes that I want to see in the world. Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world and we are walking those steps. Like, this is the beginning and I'm stoked.